this trip has um, it's really thrown a lot at us. No phone reception, that's the best thing. We talk to each other, we told stories. Come on, Glenno. How many horsepower are you, Glenno? Three Angie, mate. Three Angie. Oh, mate, that was awesome! This is uh, Coffin Bay, South Australia, turning it on for us. It feels reminiscent of Fraser Island or something like that, just so crisp and clean. See, emus are very curious, and if you act like a fool, they'll sort of come back towards you where you are. I think the emus thought we were idiots too because they went the opposite way. Did you sign us up for this walk? 44 degrees instead of my cab. I reckon you should defrosted it first. Plenty there, that bit can go in the bush. Hey, this is interesting. This is where they do the dry lake um, racing. Can you imagine how long it took them to get all this salt here? It would have been trucks and trucks and truckloads of salt. The thought of seeing cars and motorbikes doing 415 kilometres an hour on the Salt Lake. That was our mission, that's what I wanted to get to. And what is it that keeps bringing you back? Oh, I just like the challenge. You're only bike when you've got to get someone to pull you out though. That's my rule. So yeah, I'm Bob. Yeah, Glen Owen, the big 79. Nearly put my neck out when he uh, snatched me out, but uh, yeah, got me out of trouble pretty quick. Travelling Australia like, like we're doing right now, you're in goal might be 2,000 kilometres that way. But it's the journey along the way that you'll remember. It's uh, getting rougher up here, fellas, so I'm just, uh, I'm in low range. I'm just going to go back to second low range. So the whole trip has had everything in it. A lot of adventure. We should patent that one. That's a nice little run. How are your balls going, Nanny? Oh, my balls are still raw.